feel like everything's extra bright today. Okay, I did rearrange the lights, but hopefully it's not so bright to you guys. I mean, well, welcome back to the junk room, everybody. It's me, the junk man, coming back at you. With a new video. What we're gonna do today, again, we're just having fun today. Sorry if you came looking for something serious. But when do I do anything seriously? Uh, we're gonna read YouTube comments. Can you believe it? We're gonna pull up YouTube comments. I'm gonna have to look over here. I get some people speaking of YouTube comments. Some people comment say, "What are you looking at when you turn your head and look that direction, and we can see your ugly profile? What are you looking at?" Well, you want to see what I'm looking at? Well, here it goes. Wait a minute. Is we in Africa? No, we ain't in Africa. And that's what I'm looking at. Get the camera back right here. I hope I get the camera back right here. Okay, now we're back. We're going to read YouTube comments. And I'm not talking about those nice comments that say, Oh, what a lovely schoolboy. We're going to read those mean, evil comments that some of you just love to post. So, oh. Got a new shirt. I didn't put it. Shut up. I'm trying to talk to people and you're sending me text message. <sighs> anyway, I got a new shirt. Check it out. I know it's Star Wars and they've been pulling my toy Star Wars shirts down. I don't know why. I talked to some people at Lucasfilm about two years ago and they kind of gave me a guideline and as far as I know, I've been sticking to it. But I decided not to put tags in it. So they go searching Star Wars. They not going to find this one. <laughs> Any of them, anybody at Disney or Lucas got a problem with one of my shirts, you just have to ask me. I'll take it down. Anyway, become a Patreon supporter. That's right, you can become a Patreon supporter. Just like this new, so let me pull it up. I got a new subscriber, a new supporter. Sorry, I should have all this ready to go and I didn't. I am so sorry. What is that fucker's name? Is that guy's name? What is that guy's name? I just saw it. I didn't even, I didn't even welcome yet. Where's that? Where's that? I don't know if you probably skipped all this in the comments. Uh, oh, shit, where's that? Uh, who? Oh. Well, I won't say his last name. Scott. Scott, it's not Scott Bayo. Don't worry. It's not Scott Bayo. But Scott, welcome to being a Patreon supporter. Now I gotta do some exclusive content this week because I've been lazy, but I got a new one. Just gotta watch it. So, hey, thank you, Scott, for support. It means a lot. Okay. Let's get to just reading these crazy, crazy YouTube comments, man, so I can feel a lot better about myself when it's over. Hmm. Let's see here. Let's just start. Let's just start at the top of the list. Now, uh, I was nice. I was a nice man here. I cut out the name and the icon for the person doing it because I don't want to shame them or YouTube where they might flag me for being a cyber bully. I hate doing air quotes and I do them all the time. Okay, here we go. So when Alfalfa grew up, he got a YouTube channel and changed his name to Junkman? A little like Alfalfa? You don't see no dogs around here. You don't see me trying to fight a dog. Somebody didn't get that joke, I hope. Let's read another comment. That one's so bad. Maybe this video's going to be good. I'm not going to, you know, it's not going to hurt me too much. Your is mom gay. Now, I'm not the best person in the world when it comes to reading. So, let's, let me try that again. Your, your, I got that right. Your is mum gay. You need translators out there. I need, I need some translators with this one here. Now, I know mum is how they say mom in the UK. Your, your is mom gay. Is he calling my mom gay? Is this her girlfriend leaving this comment? How did they find out? Let's go to another one. Wow, you're such a Hasbro ass kisser. Trying to get some free toys? Oh yeah, I'm a Hasbro ass kisser. That's why I make such videos like, fuck Hasbro. Yeah, the F word, F Hasbro. That's why I'm always bashing Hasbro on Twitter because I want some free toys. Believe me, Hasbro, if they know who I am, I doubt it, but if they do, they're not going to give me free anything. I mean, they release retro Star Wars figures. And come on, is anybody on YouTube, I might not be the biggest channel, but is anybody else on YouTube constantly talks about vintage Star Wars figures more than me? And sure, some of those websites got free figures and stuff to review. 
Did the junk man get anything from Hasbro? Hasbro. Bet your asteroids I didn't. And you know why? Because I don't kiss their ass. But if you want to send me some free stuff, Hasbro, email me. Send it away. But I'll give an honest review on it. Uh, and Hasbro, you suck. Okay? You suck. Sorry, Hasbro. You suck. It just, it just, I can't, I can't, you know, I can't sit here and say you don't suck. You just, you, yeah. shipping out stuff sucks. Here's what Hasbro does. Hmm. So we got these cool, we got a Boba Fett over here. Let's send five of them to the store. Well, what about these action figures we can't sell? What we're going to do with those? Let's, let's spray paint them gold and send about 50 of them to each store. That's Hasbro. But, hey, I didn't go to no fancy college, so maybe they know what they're doing and I don't. Let's read another. OMG, this must be a 13-year-old girl. OMG, I swear, if I ever saw you in person, I would punch you in the dumb face. If you don't like Doctor Who, then don't talk about Doctor Who. Your name is on my list. Daryl Hall and John Oates? Didn't know I was on Daryl Hall and John Oates' list. It's going to punch me in the face because I don't like Doctor Who? Sorry, I'm not a fat girl. I don't like Doctor Who. Oh my God, that's going to upset some people. But the, it just seems like that, at least in my area. I'm not stereotyping everybody. But whenever I went to the bookstore that sold Doctor Who stuff with the t-shirts, there was always fat girls over there looking at it. I, nothing against fat girls. Hey, more cushion for the pushing, right? Ain't that what they say? Not saying that. I'm just saying I'm a fat man. I ain't a fat girl. Woo! Betcha that chick's two tons of fun. Might have to cut that out. That might be a little too raunchy. I apologize to all my fans. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Well, there's one thing I know about you. You love the new Disney Star Wars over the original Star Wars. So, so I know you are dumb shit face. And this comment was on my list of ranking all the Star Wars movies. And the only one I had in the top five, I guess, was The Force Awakens. But yet, I love new Disney more than I do the original story. How can anybody watch this channel and say I don't... Oh, oh, who are these people and how do they find my channel? That's what I want to know. And I'm a dumb shit face. Well, I can't argue with that one right there. These are a little different here. And they're white. They're white text. White background. Uh, but just check this out here. I'm not going to read all of these, but they all have something in common. Let's go. In fact, let's, boom, let's pull them up on the screen. See it? Now, I did a video. Why they made this? Why did they make that? And I had to look at my computer screen over here. That time I had a computer screen here. I didn't have that other thing. Um... And then, so I only had a little picture to look but look at, and I had a picture of a uh, Grizzly Adams. So I looked up at it, saw those type of doll, just figures, Miko, without looking. Man, I'm not a Grizzly Adams fan, okay? I'm not, I don't run a Grizzly Adams website. I don't know all about Grizzly Adams. I don't even like saying the name Grizzly Adams because it reminds me of eating sausages and biscuits in the morning, which is nothing wrong with that, but it's a whole different story. So, it's, you don't want me to get into that story. But, it reminds me of Brawny, too. Remember Brawny? Anyway. So I just glanced up and I saw the doll and went back to talking and said, Migo. But everybody, what, about 20,000 people had to let me know, Mattel made that. Well, good for you. You knew Mattel made Grizzly Adams dolls. I'm glad I didn't know it. That's one thing I'm glad I did get wrong. Let's see what else we got here. I have only watched a few of this guy's videos and each was worse than the other. Hey, he watched one and it made him click on the next one. That's pretty good. One, does he even know how to set up a camera? No, no, he got me on that one. Mm -mm, no. It looks like it was recorded with a flip phone. A flip phone. My shoe on head. Uh, his mic sounds like it was ran over by a car. I don't even know what that sounds like. What's wrong with my mic? What's wrong with my mic, Mike? Uh, 
nothing wrong with my mic. I hope somebody's wearing earbuds when they heard that. Not those big oversized headphones like Geek the Gamer Kid, but you know, one of them wears around his neck. Um, hello, light bulbs. Look into it. I was just saying earlier how bright it was in here. So maybe this video will make you a little bit more happy. Now about the editing. Oh no, here we go. If you're going to edit over three, if you're going to edit every three seconds, then don't make a video. Oh, but I like making videos. They're so fun. My little cousin, who's like three, how can you be, you're either three or you're not three. You can't be like three. You can be almost three or not almost three, but you can't be like three. Uh, unless his cousin's like 27 and has maybe the mind frame of a three-year-old, then I'll give it to him. He's like three. Uh, anyway, his three-year-old can edit better than that. Well, if you have a three-year-old or a 27-year-old with the mind frame of a three-year-old that can edit, tell him to give me a call. I'll hire him. Oh, uh, once you fix all that, write down what you're going to say. <laughs> hey, tell what I'm going <laughs> to You hear that, Larry? <laughs> write down. This might be the funniest guy on the internet. Write down what you're going to say and say it so we can understand you. Don't eat bubble gum while we're doing the video. <laughs> he down? He wants me to write down all this and then speak in a clear voice so you can understood me? No, I don't think so. Now, once you fix all that, talk about something worth listening to. Do I ever talk about anything worth listening to? Do I ever talk about anything worth listening? Do I ever talk about anything worth? Do I ever talk about anything worth listening to? Every time I open my mouth. Uh, let's see what else we got here. What a damn loser. Dude looks like he's 50 and still talking about toys. Had his last 10 videos were about toys made when he was a little kid. Get a life and go eat bleach. I hadn't had a bleach blizzard from Dairy Queen in a long time. Might take you up on that. But apparently I'm a loser for talking about toys. Well, this guy's at home watching me talk about toys on YouTube. So who's the real loser here? The loser that records the video or the loser that watches it? Hmm. I wrote Kenner. Okay, this one's not really a bash. This is just kind of this guy's letting me know something that happened. I wrote letter. I wrote Kenner a letter a few months ago, and I asked if I could buy some of the old Star Wars toys for my son. They said they only sell the new ones, but they had a few old ones around. They sent me a box with about 100 of the old Star Wars toys inside, but all look brand new. My son loves playing with them. So this guy wrote a letter to Kenner Hasbro, and they sent him some old vintage Star Wars toys they had just laying around. Sure, dude. Sure, dude. If you think so. If you think, I'll let you think that. No one else is going to believe it, but. Okay, let's see what we got here. Okay, I watched the full video. Okay, I haven't watched the full video yet. I love when people comment when they hadn't watched the video yet. I get that a lot. They'll say, hey, why didn't you talk about this? Well, if you watch the whole video, you'll know I'll talk about it. Anyway, I hadn't watched the full video yet, but let me start by saying you are a complete dumbass. Is this Red Foreman? You said G.I. Joe was a Mattel action figure. But we all know it was made by Hasbro. You stupid, you dumb, stupid, hillbilly, redneck, mega joke loser. Where do I even start with this one? Yes, I said Hasbro instead of Mattel. Or Mattel instead of Hasbro. Like I did with the Grizzly Adams debacle. Sorry. Sometimes in these videos, I just, I'm just speaking off my cuff. Or I'm just looking. I don't have notes and everything. Sorry about that. Now, sometimes I do have my trusty note cards. And it's a good thing when I have them. Because then I can never, ever, never, 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 never get anything wrong. Ever. But apparently for that video, I didn't have my note card. I'm a dumb, stupid, hillbilly, redneck, mega junk loser. Oh, joke loser. Again, so I'm, not just, I'm just doing this off the top of my head, guys. 
Unless it's one of my voiceover videos or something like that. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Anyone that liked even one second of any of the Disney Star Wars movie is a dumb piece of shit. Wait a minute. Is a dumb piece of shit. -Z. Well, I like um, Han Solo movie. I like the, I love Force Awakens. I like Last Jedi. Not a big fan of the last one. Rogue One, I was, thought was okay. So I guess I'm a big piece of shit. -Z. And I don't know where shit -Z is, but that's me. Maybe a shirt says that. I am shit -Z. I like that. I like that sound. I like being called a shit -Z. Thanks, man. That was a good comment. So we've got some good ones in here, too. 3.2 seconds in this video, and I can't take this Hicks voice anymore. You're not the only one. Gets on my nerves also. I can't even understand him. And I don't even want to understand him. I wish I never clicked this video. Well, he stayed around, around long enough to leave a comment. So thanks for your three and a half cents. How many more we got? Only a few more. Let's see. This person is an adult and he's talking to a freaking Star Wars teddy bear and trying to do a skit that's so f unfunny. It's not even dandy. Hey, Larry, we got, hold on, Larry. Ah, no, no, oh, oh, shit, no, oh, shit. Breaking the squeaky chair, breaking the, Larry, look, he got a comment, man. You got a comment. Ah, oh, cool, what did he say? He don't like that I talked to you. He said the skits aren't funny. Not funny? Well, I bet it is funny as a child molesting oh, Larry, <laughs> That's going to get me not, uh, demonetized more than the fat joke. But, he did say we're not, we're not funny as, what did he say? He's far from funny. We're so unfunny, we're not dandy. I hope his daddy's dandy somewhere under a his stone. I don't know what he's talking about either. Oh, let's see how many more we got here. Let's see. Uh, I don't want to watch these videos. How do I stop it and delete it? I think someone's granddad got on the computer. I mean, if you don't want to watch it, just get up and walk away or close the window out. And what we got? One more. One more from the Junkman comment section. Here we go. Yes, I'm still here. Aaron is with us, but he has his feet soaking, so he can't do it right now. Mom coming over at 7, and maybe she can take Ruth to Bingo tomorrow. It's the one over on Rex, near, next to the Moose Lodge. What? What? What kind of comment is, I don't even know where to start with this. Yes, I'm still here. Who asked you where you were? Aaron's with us. Who is Aaron? Who? Who? I only know two Aaron's. One's a place where you go rent stuff. And the other one, he's always telling me nothing's wrong with his radio. Somebody's soaking their feet. Not me. Trust me. Not feet. If I could get my, if I could get my feet up here, I'll show you I'm not. Uh, Take my word for it. I'm not soaking my feet. What else we got? Mom coming over about seven. Don't give the rancor ass about his mom. What? To take Ruth? Who has anyone named Ruth? That's the worst name I've ever heard. Sorry if your name's Ruth, but who? It has to be somebody over 80. Oh. To bingo. Okay, they are over 80. I forgot about that. Over by Rex. Hey, Rex is where you rent stuff also. This guy's got something with rental own centers, I guess. They're going to take them to the Moose Lodge. Okay, I had a lodge. I figure that's what they were saying. I don't know. I'm just my mind. When I see Moose, I think Lodge. Because that's where people play bingo, isn't it? Or that's where my, that's where my gammy used to play bingo. <sighs> that's the stupidest comment I've ever seen in my life. Is that it? Are we done? Have I got enough of me being insulted? Hmm. Well, that's a look at some YouTube comments. Wasn't as mean as I thought. I thought it was going to be a lot worse. So, thanks guys for not going too hard on me. But, let me know in the comments below how you don't understand anything I said in this video. Uh, until the next video, thumb up this one so I know you like my content. Subscribe to the channel and I'll be back very soon. Junk man. Thank you, sir, for that unsolicited testimony. <laughs>